Jerry Ring with a couple. Come in, friend. I know where he is. You do? He's waiting for you. There's your permission, holding on. on the airport. And if I can get to the Dragon Pad out on time, I'll stop them. But the Dragon's been asked to find out. They're on the way to the airport. Well, well, that's perfect. I'll send the Dragon's death ray on his own plane. There'll be no one there to stop me. But if I can get away from these fellows, no one has much influence. You're free to go now. Oh, well, Ty Jack, thanks. Then you keep your eye on these cops for a couple minutes. I gotta borrow a car in a hurry. Off a dragon plane. No, just we prepared for another attack. They suddenly fell out of control and crashed. The entire squadron? No! One's getting away! That's the dragon plane. I'm going after him. The bomb wrecked all our planes? No, I don't think so. That's a suit plane in number three hangar ought to be okay. Pull that ship out as fast as you can, boys. I'm taking off in a hurry. Okay! the dragon plane's attack. Winston left the airport under circumstances which makes me believe he knew what was going to happen. Winston, what do you mean? He went out of his way to take a quarrel with him so that he could hand me his resignation. You mean you think Winston is a dragon? Yes, I do. All steady. We'll soon find out if you're right, Meredith. Hey, Nate, where are you headed for? The dragon's hideout. Thank 
a death ray and brought down my plane. The dragon. Well, well. We didn't know Boogie Man himself. You do well to smile. We have a saying in Mongolia. He who smiles at the grave's head takes happiness into the world beyond. You got a saying in America, too, you know. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. You'll never leave this place alive. Here, you rub me out. You're just giving Ace Drummond one more reason to kill you. It may interest you to know that I shot Drummond down at the airport during the attack. He had that outside entrance block, too. Boy, that guy never misses a bet. We're going to be in here for a long, long time. I've got to get out of here, Jerry, before the dragon gets hold of Peggy and her father. Holy one. A runner has just arrived from the village saying the dragon's plane has been shot down at the outpost. Ace must have got there in time. The dragon's power is broken at last. Danny, I'm so glad. Now you'll be safe. You won't have to keep the location of the not in a secret any longer. That secret has cost too many lives already. I'm going to keep it until Ace Drummond tells me the dragon is done. I think you are very wise, my friend. It is the hour of the evening prayer, who is to my son. We must leave you now. Come, I say. Come over to the window and watch the session back. Rest of her tail will be good. Chill, Holy One. I will fetch you a cake. Too bad you took up archaeology, Dad. You make an adorable moth. <laughs> Don't make a sound either. You're going to be Mr. Drum it. I was expecting you, Dragon. Take off that helmet. You heard me? Take off that helmet. Good work, Drummond. Mr. Drummond? How on earth did you get here? Where is Dr. Trainer? In his room, Holy One. Take off that helmet. You who might cherish above all my respect. Vows you have taken for a month. 
You are a disgrace, Wallace. He isn't one of your people, Holy One. The credentials he brought from the Grand Lama at Lhasa are forged. He is a white man, born and raised among your people. The language and customs he learned as his own. Why have you done this evil thing? What did you hope to be? If it hadn't been for Drummond's interference, I would have made myself the most powerful man in age. Did you dare to use our religion as a cloak for your selfish aid? May the Holy One, whose temple you have outraged, destroy. Quick, they're behind him! The tunnel leads to the village. Send the guards to head him off. My friend, if they can't catch him, you can't either. off the wind at his back. He'll never clear the monastery. Thanks to you, Drummond. International Airways has now accomplished its aim. Our clipper ships are taking off on schedule to all parts of the world. I'm glad of that, Mr. Meredith, because I'll need some fast transportation back to Washington. The government has a new job waiting for me. There's just one more favor you can do me, Ace. Name it. Take Billy back with you to America. It's time he returned to school. I'll be glad to. Gee, that's swell. Ace, you know what? Peggy's going back to America, too. Wouldn't it be swell if we all went back together? I don't think there'll be any doubt about that, son. to dig the gate out of the mountain, and I'm chief pilot in charge of transportation. What a fine jury. Sir, boy, I, I guess if the uh, uniforms have anything to do with it, I'll be a greater pilot than Lindbergh.
shepherd's roar. Give me a plane to soar into the blue. Following far.